I'm Koss and today I'm going to be showing you how to do your own DIY shower curtain using materials that I got from Hobby Lobby and the Dollar Tree. So I got a blue shower curtain from the Dollar Tree and I went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up some crafting pom-poms and I'm using some E6000 glue that I have left over some for some previous projects as well as I bought shower curtain rings at the Dollar Tree as well. So I'll go ahead and link all of the products in the description box. In addition to, I'm going to go ahead and link an alternative shower curtain that you can purchase through Amazon that might be a little bit more durable and not as flimsy as the one that I got from the Dollar Tree but we're still going to go ahead and make it work so for this particular project you will need a few different materials so like I said before I got a or I got shower curtain rings from the Dollar Tree I got a blue shower curtain that I already kind of have laid out so I'll go ahead and link it so you can see it, um, it was only a dollar and then I got three different shades or three different colors of pom-poms that I got from Hobby Lobby and for this particular project I got royal blue pom-poms as well as white pom-poms and I got I think this is turquoise pom-poms and so I got two packs of each and then I got, well I have some leftover E6000 glue from the previous project. So I got the Fabric Fuse E6000 and then I got the Clear Transparent Flexible E6000 glue. But I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the Fabric Fuse E6000 because I've used it before and I think that it will weather the elements or weather the water it'll be water resistant basically so there's no need to keep talking we can go ahead and let's get right started all right so I'm on the floor I got everything laid out because I wanted to make sure that I knew what type of pattern and pattern that I was going to be doing and I wanted to make sure that um it won't be looking crazy so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start, I think, gluing down the ones that I already have. And then I'm going to also do another layer of turquoise pom-poms and then white pom-poms. And then, of course, I couldn't spread everything out the way that I wanted to because there's not enough room. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these, let them dry. Hopefully, they'll dry pretty quickly. And then I can go ahead and finish with the rest of the shower curtain. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it. 